Okay, let me talk real quick about how to use a new experimental feature, which allows you to basically populate different face selections all at the same time. So, show what I'm talking about. I've got this recipe here. I've got a top, a front, and a side. And the top has this box cutter 2 on it. The front has box cutter 1 on it. And side has this box cutter 3 on it. They're completely different shapes. So the way I want to do this is I'm going to select the box, tab into it, select the top face, and I'm going to turn all of these off except for the top. And I'm going to just say do it. And it's going to basically cut all the way through there. And with that done, I'm going to turn off this and I'm going to wipe it out. Then I'm going to go to the second one, turn it on, and that's going to be the front. So I'm going to tab into here, select the front, and say do it. And that's going to set that up. I'll turn it off and clear it out. Obviously, I'll do the same over here. Tab, select this, tab on the side, say do it, and I will clear that out. Now, with all these turned off, I'm going to tab into here. I'm going to hit AA and select nothing. So there's nothing selected on here. And then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to turn all of these on and I'm going to say do it. And it's going to basically cut going to use every single one of those to cut the same face. Now I might want to, at this point, make sure I have a weighted normal over here. And now the cool thing about this, of course, is that I can come in here and if I hit clear, it's not going to do anything because no faces are selected. So I just need to clear each one of these layers by hand. And I can scale this, right, in different directions and just say do it and it's going to actually create those same surfaces along there so that's a really cool feature for synth so let me take a look at one of these settings so i'm using grid one by one and the padding is set to zero so that it actually works exactly right let me show you what i'm talking about so this is looking at one of the box cutter inserts and as i look at this you see this right here is what's doing the cutting and here's my placement and my placement and my placement wire is just a tiny bit larger than the actual insert that's doing the cutter. So this is a difference. And then of course I have actually this little piece, which is a cutter insert. It's subtracting from this other one. So if I look at this and look at solid, you'll see that I have another cutter that's cutting through that solid. And you, know, you can make these any way you want to, but uh, that's basically it. And I've got three different ones of those. So hopefully you understand now a little better on how to use this experimental feature to populate all the sides at one time. The key thing is that when you tab into your box, nothing needs to be selected and then you'll be in good shape. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.